Hey, welcome back everybody. Signing here again with episode 51 of my Engineer's Life 2 playthrough. And hey, look, finally spring. We can kiss all the snow goodbye, which is lovely. Oh, I need to check on this thing. Oh yeah, you're cold again. Here, um, there. Just hold still for a moment, would you? Hey, you know what, just give me all this stuff. So I decided uh, my storage room isn't big enough. Which is kind of odd whenever you consider all the empty slots I have up here. But the the fishing has convinced me I'm going to need more storage. So that's what this is about down here. And a good portion of that is actually going to be the fact that I've got all these flipping fish now that I'm getting. Here, let's just go ahead and do that. There's just so many different types, whatnot, that uh, I figured gotta you know do something with them. I could just void them, but I'm trying not to void anything, and uh, so that's out. And it's like, well, you know, what else do I do with it? I could run through auto crafters, but I'm gonna need a lot of them because there's so many different types. You can only set up, you know, three types of fish per. You know, per auto crafter, you know, turn them into fish flays or whatever. And then it's like, well, what do I do with the, you know, the 10 tons of uh, fish flays I'm going to end up with? All right, cool. And that's nowhere near all the stuff I've gotten. Uh, one thing that's happened is I started building a new bow. And uh, through shot two, power five, hunting three, mending. The hunting, I'm not all that excited about, really. It's just a... Uh, well, it's extra damage versus animals, I think, right? I think it's extra damage. Uh, hunting? Yeah, do more damage against animals. You know, woohoo, right? You know. If it was, you know, looting effect against animals, that would be a different story. But it's not, so. And we can have some driftwood down here. Now, these drawers are all, they're all voided for now. And that's mainly to keep things from, you know, becoming an issue in the long term. And I can finally put, you know, well, I almost said zombie heads, but like mob heads away and, and whatnot. Things like blood sacks I'm getting a bit of and all this fun stuff. I need this ladder to not do that. Thank you. I'm not sure exactly what the cause is, but I know it's about 10 times worse if you use a, uh, you're using a jetpack with hover mode on. And yeah, when that case happens, it's, yeah, it's a little nausea inducing. Let's go ahead and we'll, uh, our mob heads over here. Here we go. Since I have a Vorpal Sword, you know, it seems like it might not be a bad idea. Uh, like things like Blob. Oh, I have Honey Bottle just sitting over here. Yeah, see. That's the other reason I'm doing this, is I have to go through... Oh, hey, it's actually raining. Nice. Um, Yeah, I have to go through and sort these boxes out, too. But we're up to nine Nautilus shells now. Now, here's a question. What the heck did I ever do with my Heart of the Sea? I have an extra one around here somewhere. Ah, here we go. So I can finally make the conduit. There we go. Don't don't do that. Thank you. Kinda. Still went to the wrong part of my inventory, but you know, it's an improvement, I guess. I keep seeing this like weird little light spot on the floor. He's making me think there's dropped items. Alright, like I've got fish and cod over here that I never did anything with. Oh. Uh, I'll just grab all this stuff out here. So I'm going to be... There we go. Moving stuff down here for a bit. And... Basically, I uh, just have to find homes for things. 
which it's not going to be too bad. It's just going to be a lot of up, you know, running up and down ladders. And, uh, hey, I have one Wii Wii. Cool. I can actually make that, uh, uh the Wii meal or whatever it's called, the, the soup. I'm not sure if that's going to be a quest or not. If not, it should be, but I'll have to wait and see on that one, I think. But yeah, there's just, I've got so much stuff here that needs to find a home. But I'm hoping to get rid of most of these boxes here soon. They were only supposed to be a stopgap until I did something like this anyway. And, uh, hopefully this will, uh, you know, solve that issue. Grouper, we got a, a single tuna. And then we have like guardian air sacs. I mean, there's just all sorts of weird drops in this pack. Not really a progress with update, but, uh, I'm right at the edge of the being able to open the chest. And it's just kind of odd. Yeah, it's like the game doesn't know exactly what to do here. All right, well, got a bunch of stuff moved down and I uh, I got the conveyor set up. Pretty much this is gonna be the, uh, the same as it is up top. Well, I got most of the conveyor set. I'm in the wrong Y level there, aren't I? Can you let me hop? Oh, I... Jetpack, whisper. Okay. So, fix this, I guess. It's like I dug down a block too far, huh? Oh, well, it shouldn't be that hard to fix. The hard part is going to be getting to it without just obliterating everything around here. Because that is a, yeah, super pick, so. Alright. So, shoot, we'll come down here. We'll do that. Put you here. You can go like so. Now I'm going to need a uh, stone brick here. We're going to put our cover conveyor there. That will work. All right, and then I can just go through and do that and one, two. All right, so any items will come out there now. And... Do like every other, I think, for now. On the uh, the covered conveyor belts. Oh, no, I eh, might as well just do all of it. And it's not like I'm really hurting for resources that I have to try to skimp that way. There we go, and then. And then bingo. So I've got a few things done, whatnot, things I either have a lot of or really should have a lot of, like wiring and so on and so forth. This is all stuff from fishing, pretty much from uh, basically pretty much here all the way down to there. That's, yeah. And I'm probably going to run into some more stuff that I forgot or missed or is rarer. But uh, should help a bit. And then back here, yeah, it's double layer, by the way. Saplings, flowers, I'm back here. Over here is all the different seeds and whatnot, which I still haven't gotten all the seeds yet, but there's there's extra slots for a reason. Now, all these drawers are locked. Uh, the conveyor belt runs around and it will dead end here in this crystal chest. That's my new overflow. And... Going to do is I can actually I'm not worried about you. You're empty. 
got the carry on mod that I hardly ever use. But there it goes. It's pulling items out, sending them down the conveyor belt. If there's a place to store them in the system, it'll find it. Which there are a few things that you know should have spots that they can go. I've got a lot of glass bottles in here. I should be storing those actually. And things like treated sticks. Actually, you know what? Here, give me some of that. Probably give you a home downstairs. Getting stuck on everything down here. All right, and treated wood sticks right there. All right, let's go ahead and head on up. First items are finally getting over here. Eesh. All right, and there we go. I've got a drop and conveyor belt on top of each of these door controllers. This unit was big enough I had to do too. I didn't have to, but I decided let's play it safe and go ahead and do too. And yep, first things should be showing up over here in the crystal chest. Yep, there we go. And this will also let me see, okay, well, what what would be a good idea to have stored in, in the drawers, like glass bottles? That seems like one of those things I'm going to need a lot of, so there you go. You know, the whole B thing. Uh, snowballs? Sure, why not, right? Oh, and I got all my dice moved down here, too, because you never know when you're going to end up with those things. All right, and yep. So stuff is still coming through. We've got a decent amount of things here. I mean, like bookshelves, I got end rods in here. Vacuum tubes, probably. I'm not going to have a ton of them, but I should probably keep a stockpile of them. Oh, yeah, brown carpet. I used for my uh, villager mart. Yeah, I made a little too much of that stuff. And then I have all this wonderful stuff here. Like I grabbed all the rails out and put them down, but we have all the, the saddles and the armor and stuff like that. Potions. Enchanted books. <laughs> There's a lot of them so far. Uh, equipment. This is what's left of the mob drop stuff. And I'm not sure what I'm going to do that quite yet. This is the flowery kind of stuff. Like cherry sapling, I'm just going to go ahead and plant. And then like food stuff and whatnot but like that's empty now uh this one is extra blocks and whatnot which i should probably find homes for but since this is overflow for this and then i cleaned this one out and it's like oh well now i've got an extra chest for no reason or some engineering stuff and over here we've got overflow for tools and bird drops like ravager hide and whatnot you are empty I think this entire back row was empty, right? Yeah, I never even got around to using... I used that one a little bit, it looks like. Buddy card stuff. And miscellaneous non... Well, interactive blocks or whatnot. Yeah. You know. Mainly storage. Now over here, I finally got around to make myself some buddy steel. Also, a tin can can go away. Made the advancement, forging buddy cards. And you know, let's just go ahead and we're going to drop at least. I know those have a home down below. Dirt can go in there too. Hempcrete can go. Stone and stone bricks, you know, probably can go down there too. And let's just get some of this stuff out of here. All right. And I know concrete's got a home. What can I do with the buddy steel? Well, I can make a buddy steel vault. Which yeah, it's an idea. There are swords and whatnot. Gains power as you uh, collect cards, which is interesting. Uh, let's see, wasn't there like a fish hook or something like that? Yeah, I think it was made. Yeah, there's the Buddy Steel Fishing Rod. I think there's like a fishing hook, yeah. Made out of the nuggets. Did I need to make that for anything? I don't think I did. I think the fishing hook stuff is done. I just need. Need Neptunium. 
I need four ingots for this here. And I'm thinking, wow, this page is almost done, isn't it? I'll have to make energy bars. Okay. Still need to make mead. Uh, I have my thing still around, right? Let's go ahead and maybe a honey block in there. I couldn't do it whenever at first. That's my worm bin. Oh, oh great. I need a uh, glass bottle. Well, I've got quite a few over this way, so. And just grab one of those, I guess. Because I've actually, I was making something or what? Uh, tea swim. That's the cactus. Okay, so it is not honey blocks. Okay. Maybe a honey bottle. And failing that, would it be honeycomb? Okay, it's not the bottle of honey. Okay. Well, we're narrowing down things that it's not to make mead. Does meat ever even show up in here? No, no recipe. Do some bee breeding off camera, really. Let's go ahead and drink this one. Does nothing. Well, food-wise, anyway. Uh, it gives you health boost, though. Eh, not bad. Honeycomb. Okay. Figured it out finally. Uh, let's see. Hey, I can have a peanut butter cookie at least, I guess. Yeah. All right. I have not made homemade peanut butter cookies in forever, and those extra hearts A didn't fill up on their own, and B they are already gone. So that can go. So can that and that, right, and those. All right, so we're making mead finally. Good. So yeah, I just have human sunflower seeds left to find. And then neptunium ingots so I can make the fillet knife and the fishing rod. And the energy bar. And this chapter will be done. Awesome. Let's see, that was outstanding in a field. Thinking I might want to get into advanced storage though. So maybe we should work on the... Uh, controller thing is I've had a ton of uh yeah quartz rich iron just kind of sitting over here and I'm gonna need a smooth stone so machine frame or machine casing sorry then it was what for those I'm going to need some silicon up my bar. Uh, let's see. Silicon was right here. Ow. Okay, so I need three of these things. I just need that advanced processor I made for oh god, well like thirty episodes ago. There we go. And I do have a little bit of processor binding just laying around. Uh, let's see. What we got carrot seeds, lettuce, beetroot. That's just ambles. Okay. Pepper. You got some more maggots over here. Yummy. Which actually, you, you can eat the maggots. I don't know if I'd, you know, actually use them for that. But there is some other stuff you can do with it. Hey, sweet. Best completed controller. All right. Let's go ahead and. I uh, should probably keep that with the food, really. All right. Oh, yeah. Bowls. That was the other thing. Go. So, got ourselves an iron coin and silver ingot. Let's go to exchange. Iron coin. Oh, hey, yeah. That was one of the ones I needed. Uh, let's go ahead and that's two coins. That's one. With that, I got a gold. A single gold coin for an iron ingot. All right, awesome. Uh, let's go back to advanced storage now. 
All right, well, now we can make things like cable and the grid. Let's go ahead and start with some cable. Pretty standard recipe. I'll make a couple of those. Hey. And I'm going to need some more quartz enriched, quartz enriched iron for certain. But there's our cable quest. Let's stone gold, sure. And now I can make the importers, exporters, constructor, destructor, external storage, and detectors, as well as the storage monitor. Not too concerned about that right now. More worried about a grid right now. So I'm going to need construction and destruction core, and then two improved processors. All right, well, we are looking at four of those for now. Two of you, two of you. And I need redstone, actually. That's the last ingredient, right? So there's that, those, that, four of those. Actually, one, two, yeah, two of those, and then I need two of you. I'm also going to need, it was glowstone and a nether quartz. Also, that golden can go away. All right, so let's get some smelting done. I do like the asphalt. It makes it a little easier to get around. But I need to cook that and that up. And what else do I have sitting here? Nothing. Okay. Poor, just lonely iron golem to stand there by himself in a field. Doesn't even have any zombies to play with. Poor guy. I really need to finish that wall up too. All right. Oh, hey, there we go. Processors are coming in finally. There's our two iron ones, aka the basics, and one, two improved processors. Let's go back inside where it's a little, a little less phantoming. All right, and let's go ahead and base processor with nether quartz is that, construction, and then glowstone for the construction. And now I just need three glass, another machine casing. All right, well, I can work with this, right? So, you and... Didn't grab the stone, huh? All right, stone, done. Glass, you can do like that, 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 and one of those. And now we have a grid. And I want to actually make this into a crafting grid if I can. So that is going to require... Uh, nope, nope. Yes, advanced processor. That's the diamond one. You, you, and uh, you. Three, four... Now, is there any chance I can cook these on like a campfire? No, it's furnace or kiln only. Okay. Well, let's see. This is mainly for bulk smelting, not individual components. Well, the golem wandered over a pretty good bit. That thing's gonna die here in a second. Actually, a phantom with fire resist would be kind of scary, wouldn't it? That's an idea. Require a mod that could uh, really modify, you know, potion durations, but basically an infinite fire resist on a phantom, name tag it, and then uh, just leave it outside of somebody's house. One's not hard to deal with, but if you had like 10 of them there, that could get really interesting real quick. All right, and then I just needed a crafting table, right? So you, table, processor, crafting grid. Oh, well, that was quest two, sweet. I kind of figured it would be. Oh, hey, we got some dye. I get to choose, I'm low on orange, here we go. Crafting grid gives me a random die. Okay. 
and some iron ingots. Oh, this was a gold coin. And a copper coin. All right, sweet. Uh, let's see, wireless transmitters are fun. Fluid grid, portable, pattern grid. The portable grid actually might be something I really want to get into, though. Needs another controller, a grid. It needs a fluid grid, too, really? Wow. Hmm. But that would be amazing for mining trips in the future. Because you could get like a 64k uh, drive into that thing and just go to town. And now, uh, how are we going to work all this? I want it kind of right about here-ish, right? So we're going to put our crafting grid here. And... They right here, we will poke a hole in. Nope, yeah, one block too high. Pray that. There we go. And then I can just put an HP capacitor in here. And that'll get us power and whatnot going. You know, a hammer would be a nice thing to have, right? So, output, input on the other side. Then I can just hook that into our... How do I do that? And... They... One of you... Give me an extra one just in case. One connector and some high voltage wires, which I definitely need to make some more of those. I'm getting kind of low. All right. Oh, hell yeah. There's like no power around here. Uh, one downside. Okay, well, go ahead and get some stuff on the hot bar at least. You can go here. I don't even have, like, I was hoping I had power running close to the back of the building, but I don't. We can do like that, then. You to there. I got my substation right next door, but... Can you buy some stroke of luck stretch? It's obstructed, but, uh, yeah, I can definitely make it. All right, uh, balloon. Balloon would be a good thing to have, right? Which they are right there. But yeah, let's go ahead and get us two, and then one of those. So I'm going to have a balloon, say, not there. On top of this, really, I can't. I cannot place this thing while holding shift, really. Hmm. Uh, like the only thing I got on me for blocks right now is conveyor belts and storage crates. Yeah, I can't even do that either. Tell you what. Here. Come here. There. All right, and then... Can you get on the other side of you? Yeah, there it goes. The two ends of the relay are different, so... Not to mention it would really kind of mess with how the wires are be placing on the relay. Thank you for placing above me. That was wonderful. 
Never do that again. All right, and perfect. Okay. I'll just run you over to stay there now. And then I just have to run a wire from here to there, which uh, let's go with medium voltage so that way I can insulate it. I need not have sub blocks. Would that be considered a sub block? It might be, but it's a uh, anything that doesn't take up a full block. I need to not put those next to my ladder because that's causing issues. Of course, the step up probably isn't helping a whole lot either, but. There. Oop. And it lights up, and somebody dropped the screen. Cracked. All right, but we have ourselves a refined storage, you know, crafting grid at least. And I do have some coins. I hmm. currency exchange gold because I'm halfway to uh, buying this anyway. So let's just go ahead. Wait a second. That is not. Cash it in quest. That is a detection quest. Okay, well, what can I use? I could buy 30 levels of XP, which, eh. Luck of the C3, lower 3. I have a lower 3. Oh, huh? Or a potion of Regia. Oh, yeah, no. Ah, buying those. All right. But maybe a drive now would be a good idea. Disk drive, refined storage. I need a box, I need an advanced processor, and six quartz enriched iron. All right, well, should I have everything together now? Roughly. And one of those, please. So we're just going to do one of those and that. Hey, quest complete disk drive. Now you can just like live right there. That'll clear up when I restart. So. All right. Well, quest book time again, right? So advanced storage. There's our drive. Old and redstone. And I'm probably really not going to be using this drive a whole lot if I can avoid it. Uh, definitely need to get into the auto crafting stuff, though. Like a pattern grid is going to require... Another grid, advanced processor, and some patterns, which patterns are pretty basic. Redstone, glass, quartz and iron. But that'll enable auto crafting recipes, which is kind of uh, sort of cool. And it's actually very cool. All right. So, what all do I have up here? Oh, yeah. Uh, let's look at the. Do I have any warped wood? I don't remember. Uh, blue nether bricks. Ah, uh, warped stem. Here we go. We'll take a look at this warped ladder. Let's see, I want to go woodcutter. There. Uh, warped beam. No. Nope. Ripped warped stem. Ripped warped stem. There's more warped planks. Or type A. And then I can make all sorts of really cool, like green stuff out of this blue screen, what do you want to call it? Uh, what do the trap doors look like? I'm curious on that one. And is there not a woodcutter recipe for the ladder? There is not. Look at that. Huh. All right, well, what do you look like? Eh, it's a thing. Planks and I need like six sticks now, okay. Do 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 do. And cool thing is I can at least use this as a crafting table now. And we get four ladders per. Okay. And yeah, they definitely work as ladders, but 
I don't know if it goes with my uh my aesthetic right now. There we go. Get that put away. I probably should get a uh, compacting drawer in here for my, my quartz enriched iron. I did burn through most of what I'd made already though, just spinning up this little bit of, of stuff. I think I'm going to go ahead and call this an episode. I've made a little bit of progress on storage today. Uh, in the future here, I'm going to be hooking up uh, external storages to these. So that way, this grid can see everything that I have in drawers at least. And then we'll figure out the, the miscellaneous storage stuff in the future. But thank you for coming out. I hope you enjoyed this episode. And until the next one, sign signing out. Have fun.